Hi there, welcome back to This Beautiful Farm Life and part two of our farmhouse pillow cover tutorial. Today we are making the second part of our pillow cover tutorial. Uh, last time we made the inside cover for this, this ticking stripe cover, and today we're going to make this cute little slip cover that you can make um, to put over your pillows that's seasonal and fun and you can change it out with each season. So this little pillow cover is made out of drop cloth and some wool felt applique. I did this for Valentine's Day and had it on the little chair in my entry hall um, where my new shiplap wall is. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out. And um, I wanted this for Valentine's, but of course, like always, I didn't want to have to store a pillow all year. So I made this little simple cover with the drawstring tie. It's kind of like a little pillowcase that just slips over my pillow. So this is the part that we're going to be learning how to make today. And um, it's really simple, and I think you can do it. So let's turn it wrong side out and let's look at how it was constructed. So this pillow is a finished 18 by 18 inches. It has a 20 by 20 um, pillow form on the inside to help it be full and fill out the edges. So this piece, because I want the ticking to show out the end, I have cut this piece a little bit smaller. It is 18 inches tall, which is the height of the pillow, and it is only 16 inches wide finished. So that way I have a couple inches of ticking that sticks out. So I cut this out again with my um, rotary cutter and my ruler um, here on my mat. I just lay out my fabric. Um, I square it up and cut these long straight edges. I did an 18 and a half and a 16 and a half so that we'd have room for some seam allowances on each side. So the first thing you're gonna do is line those two pieces up together. You're gonna to leave one long 18 inch edge open and you're gonna sew all the way around three sides like this and with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then you're gonna go back and zigzag around those same edges just to hold the seam allowance um, together um, front, top and bottom, and to keep it from fraying when you wash it. Then you're going to take this open edge and zigzag all the way around this edge to keep it from fraying. Quickly turn the, pet, the, the edge over uh, about a half an inch and sew that down for a finished seam edge. Now if you're using a thinner fabric than drop cloth, you can certainly do a double fold edge where you fold it once and fold it twice and sew it down for a very clean edge. But drop cloth is very thick and bulky, and when I do that, it just kind of makes a really stiff edge on it. So this is a, an easy way to make an edge without the bulk. Then for the ties, I just cut two pieces that were one inch by 19 inches. Again, I used my um, ruler and my cutter and cut those long, narrow strips for this. I folded them in half, and zigzag them. So these are raw edged, um, but you can see that they don't fray anymore and um, there's not a, um, a reason to really fold them under. Again, it was just too thick to try to do a folded under um, tie. So that was really quick and easy just to fold it in half and zigzag it. And then I simply lay them on the top on the inside edge over the seam allowance and sew right on the same seam line as before only I do it three or four times back and forth so that they're really secure and don't rip out. And that's all there is to it. It's very simple. And then you're simply going to turn it right side out. And there's your pillow. Now for my pillowcase, I did a little bit of wool felt um, applique just like I did in my other pillow tutorial that um, you can link to, it's in the comments below. Um, but this one is just ironed on and then hand stitched around each piece and really quick um, project to do with um, heat and bond. So you can do that. 
I have some other ideas on fun things that you can do. Um, I would like to do some for spring now. This is a little bit of a table runner. It's like a uh, vintage grain sack, but it's new. And I thought it would be really cute um, sewn on to a, the pillow, or sewn around the pillow as a cover. And I think you could either enclose one end um, or you could leave both ends open and tie on both sides. That's what I did with this one. I've had this um, leftover um, quilt block pieces hanging on my wall back here for, oh, about six years waiting to be put into a project. And I decided this was the day. So I put a solid color back on it and left both ends open just so that you could see that little color there. And I'll probably be using this one at Christmas time. So I think that's a really fun way to, and I also used um, drop cloth for the ties on this one as well. And I think this is a really fun way to dress up your house for the season and yet not have to store a lot. Now all I have to do is take this cover off and fold this cover up and put it away in my linen closet or, or this one. And I don't have to store these pillows because they'll stay out and either be used just plain like this or they'll have a new cover for another season. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and that you found um, some inspiration here that maybe you can take and make your own little cover like this one with just three, um, three seams around the edge and really quick sew. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and come on back and join me here at the farmhouse. Every week I have new videos on fresh nourishing food, wholesome living, and simple farmhouse meeting. Thanks for joining me.